Hello and welcome to the second video in this series about our Walt Disney World trip where I used my Nikon Z50 as my primary camera. This was our October 2020 trip. Now on this trip, mostly with the Z50, I used the 16 to 50 kit lens and the 50 to 250 kit lens. But on this particular day, we didn't go to any parks, so I was able to carry some heavier gear. And that morning, um, Heather and Casey kind of slept in a little bit and I got up relatively early and walked around Bay Lake Tower and the Contemporary Resort with the Z50 and the 200 to 500 F5.6 on an FTZ adapter. This is the D500, uh, but I had it on the Z50 at the time. I can't show you the Z50 right now because it's recording this clip. But uh, I started out pretty early and made some photographs of some birds and let's get started taking a look at those now. The first bird I found when I went downstairs and started wandering around with my camera was this male boat-tailed grackle. Had some really beautiful light on it and they, if you catch them just right with the sun just right on these, you can see all sorts of beautiful colors. And if not, sometimes you can bring out the colors by boosting shadows just a little bit. But I was able to get all the colors without doing any strange editing on this particularly beautiful bird. And then here's another boat tail grackle taking a bath in Bay Lake. And because the bright sun, I was able to really capture lots of water droplets in the air. I thought it turned out nice. All right, well, I'm now uh, out at Bay Lake. This is Bay Lake and you may be able to see over there a boat that's going across. There's actually a bridge that goes over World Drive into the Seven Seas Lagoon, and that's the waterway that's right in front of Magic Kingdom. But this is Bay Lake right here, and right there, that's Bay Lake Tower, which is where we're staying. And right there is Disney's Contemporary Resort, which goes all the way over here. These uh, smaller buildings is part of Disney's Contemporary Resort. And that's where I'm at this morning. And I've got the, I've got the Z50 and the FTZ and I've got the 200 to 500 on it. And you may be able to see there's a tricolored heron right there on that rock. And I've been making uh, some photographs of it and some other birds this morning. And I'll share those with you. All right, we'll start with an in-flight photograph of that beautiful tricolored heron as it flies low over Bay Lake. Really like the tricolored heron. I, Pretty common to see them when I go to Florida. I've never seen one back home in Tennessee. And here is the tricolored heron once again standing on the rock waiting for some fishing opportunities. Now this next bird, this is a boat tail grackle just like the bird at the beginning of this video. But this one is a female and she has caught a fish it looks like and is wandering around with it. And I took a number of photos of her with this fish. And finally, uh, some of the other grackles started harassing her, so she had to fly off with her fish. But I think the females are just as beautiful as the male boat tail grackles, uh, just in a completely different way. They're shaped the same, but the colors are oh so different. But I do think this common bird is beautiful. And here is our tricolored heron friend fishing around in Bay Lake. They call these wading birds. Very nice. Okay, well I've moved over to the boat dock here at Disney's Contemporary Resort Marina. And this is kind of a launch and landing for boats that go to Fort Wilderness and Wilderness Lodge, which Wilderness Lodge is over that way. Oh look, there's a boat coming across the water bridge that I showed you before. But right here on this pier, uh, you know, while I was over there, I got a tricolored heron, but over here I got a great blue heron, a, um, snowy egret and a little blue heron which little blue is one that i haven't made many photos of so i was really happy to get that and uh you know florida is different than the rest of the country for birding there's shorebirds all over the place down here in florida and i'm taking advantage of it right here at disney's contemporary resort with the nikon z50 ftz adapter and the 200 to 500 f 5.6 lens Okay, so I made this photograph right here just to kind of demonstrate the size difference between the snowy egret in the foreground and the great blue heron in the background. And here is an up-close shot of that same snowy egret. I think of all the white egrets, I think the snowy is my favorite. I think it's the most beautiful of the white-colored egrets. 
Now here is a really, really up close shot of that great blue heron's eye. I think their eyes are amazingly beautiful. And we get these back home in Tennessee and I photograph them in this way quite a bit. Here's a pretty close up shot of the snowy egret with its beautiful eye. I don't think it's quite as beautiful as the great blue heron eye, but it's pretty beautiful. And here is that little blue heron. That's actually the name of this bird, little blue heron. This is, uh, I got three uh, keepers of it. Actually, I got a bunch more, but these are my three favorites. The second one, uh, look how small the pupil is. It was really bright. I was using one four thousandths of a second shutter speed. I had pretty good sun angle on this bird, and I just really love the colors. I like the way the colors of the bird's eye match the colors of the legs, and I like the beautiful blue. And now we'll get back to a few more pictures in a different location. I believe this is the same snowy egret, but it's in a different location than the previous shots. And I took uh, several shots of it standing on this metal post uh, from various different angles, getting different backgrounds. I like with it lifting one foot in the air. And then this last shot of it may be the best background of the set. Just a beautiful bird. I love white birds. I love birds with yellow eyes. And uh, the snowy has both of those. Now the snowy egret's nickname is Golden Slippers, and as you look at this up-close photograph of the snowy egret's foot, you can see why. It has yellow feet. And here's one more snowy egret shot, an up-close headshot. Beautiful, beautiful bird. Really, really thrilled to make photographs of a snowy egret. Well, after an enjoyable morning of bird photography at Bay Lake and uh, the Contemporary Resort in Bay Lake Tower, the girls started to wake up and then it was time to go and figure out what we were going to do for lunch. Well, we're staying at Bay Lake Tower over there and we love the Contempo Cafe, the counter service here, but we ate there last night. And this is October, last July, we stayed at Riviera Resort and we love the counter service restaurant there, which is called... Primo Piata. Primo Piata. Heather always remembers stuff. So anyway, we're going to go there, So, but the way we're going to get there, we're going to ride a bus to Disney's Hollywood Studios, which is coming right now. We're going to go there and we're going to get off the bus at Hollywood Studios and get on the Skyliner, which will take us right to Riviera Resort. So that is our plan for lunch today. All right, we are on World Drive and going under the water bridge that I showed you earlier. So there is water above us right now. We made it safe and sound to the Hollywood Studios bus stop. Now we gotta go to the Skyliner terminal. Okay, so there's the bus stops. And right there is the Skyliner terminal. So Heather made time lapses with her iPhone of all of our rides on the Skyliner during this trip and I really am glad she did and really appreciate it. This is the quick jaunt from Hollywood Studios over to the Skyliner hub at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Okay, so we are in the line here at the transfer station to go to Riviera. It's a pretty good little line. We'll see how long it takes. And now we'll ride from the hub at Caribbean Beach over to the beautiful Riviera Resort, which you can see on your right in this shot. Lunch at the Riviera Resort was really good, but I had an exciting idea about doing some more Skyliner travel for dessert. So now we're going to hop back on the Skyliner and head towards the Epcot station there at the International Gateway, which is kind of the back entrance of Epcot. And that's how you get into Epcot from the boardwalk and the beach club and the yacht club and things like that. This Skyliner line makes a hard right turn at this little terminal right here. It's not a place where you can get on and off. And then we end up over at the International Gateway at Epcot. Okay, so we just got off the Skyliner right back there at the, at the International Gateway Epcot station. And right over there is where we would go in to Epcot. 
But instead, we are going over here. We're going over towards the beach club because there's an ice cream place over here called Beaches and Cream that the girls keep talking to me all the time about how much they want to go there. So we are going to go over there and get some ice cream. So we are now in the beach club. There's the world famous Stormalong Bay pool to the left. And we are trying to find beaches and cream so these girls can get some ice cream. All right, well, we are at beaches and cream to go. And Casey got a vanilla, what is it? Souvenir milkshake. Vanilla souvenir milkshake. And Heather wanted a strawberry souvenir milkshake, but she ended up getting some sort of other concoction. I got really complicated and got a Bud Light. And Mickey on top of the cupcakes. Casey, what you taking pictures of? My milkshake. What kind of milkshake is it? Vanilla, and I think I'm gonna scoop some of this into it to make it like a like a birthday cake. Yeah. You know? Awesome. Tell me about yours, Miss Heather. This strawberry in it. It's the souvenir shake. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. People are seeing what Casey and Heather got and coming in to see what it is so they can get one for themselves. So I put the DX35F1.8G prime lens on the FTZ adapter and put that on the Z50 and put it on uh, automatic eye detect focus and made this photograph of Casey while she was eating her cupcake off the top of her shake. And then uh, Casey wanted me to finish her ice cream. She couldn't quite finish it all, so I gave her the camera and got it all set up for her and she made this photograph of me there at Beaches and Cream with Eye Detect Autofocus. Well, those didn't last very long. I took this photograph of Heather inside the Beach Club Resort and I thought her mask was a nice match for the paint on the walls of the Beach Club Resort. Really a cool shot I thought of Heather looking cute. So as we walk back to the International Gateway to get back on the Skyliner, I made this 24-shot handheld panorama with the 35mm f1.8 looking across the water at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Straight across there, that's the Boardwalk Resort. And you can see the Swan and Dolphin Resorts in the background, and that is the Yacht Club. The gray building is the Yacht Club. So here's that entire panorama. Uh, kind of a ribbon panorama but I've mentioned before in some of my videos these narrow panoramas are great to look at in videos. Now Chattanooga people might be uh, surprised about this. The Big River Grill uh, restaurant there is one in downtown Chattanooga, there's one at a mall in Chattanooga and the only other one in the world is right here at Disney's Boardwalk in Orlando. Before we left the Beach Club area, I took this photograph of Casey with the 35 1.8 at f1.8 with a portion of the Beach Club Resort in the background. And then we walked back over to the International Gateway and I took this shot. I thought it turned out really cool of the France Pavilion at Epcot in the background. And you can see the Skyliner and you can see the Eiffel Tower and you can even see, if you look closely, you can see a helicopter in that shot. So then it was time to travel back to our room. So we got back on the Skyliner and we rode around the turn and on to the Riviera Resort. Now the Riviera Terminal is the only one on all the Skyliner that you can go through the terminal without getting out of your bucket. If you decide you want to go on to the uh, Caribbean Beach Hub, you don't have to get off at Riviera. So we did that and then we transferred on to the Hollywood Studios Skyliner and rode back over there and our next way to get back to actually our hotel was to take the bus. So that is our next mode of transportation. Our Skyliner adventure has been very fun and now we're on the bus heading back from Hollywood Studios to Disney's Contemporary Resort. Kind of tired. You tired? She's tired because she ate all that ice cream. Next, it was time to check out the swimming pools at both Bay Lake Tower and Disney's Contemporary Resort. Let's see what you're doing. No, stop. Don't get me started. There's a lot of glass in here. Right. 
Contemporary Resort are kind of like joined, and if so, if you're staying at Bay Lake Tower, you can swim at the Contemporary Resort pool, and Casey likes this pool better. So now we're over here. I thought this flower that was growing near the Contemporary Resort pool was really beautiful, so I put the 50 to 250 on the Z50 and made this photograph of these beautiful flowers. I thought it turned out really nice. The others don't have it. Casey thinks it was faster when she sat up, so I'm going to try sitting up instead of laying down this time. Normally, sitting up is slower, and I went pretty fast laying down just then, so we'll see what sitting up does. That's fine. I'm going to do it again. After swimming for a pretty good while, we went back to the room and got cleaned up and decided we had to figure out some place to go to have dinner that night. Clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Okay, so Heather has decided that we're going to eat at the Polynesian. And to get there, we take the monorail. So we are on the monorail now and exiting the Contemporary Resort and heading around the Polynesian. Ooh, that's right. And there we go. We are at the Grand Ceremonial House at Disney's Polynesian Resort. And we're eating at Captain Cook's where we're going to have, I'm having a barbecue sandwich. What are you having, Casey? Just some chicken nuggets. And what you having, Miss Heather? Uh, pan Asian noodles. Oh, you're getting all fancy. So we've just been all over Disney World Resort at all sorts of places today, and now we're at yet another one. I wasn't a huge fan of the sandwich, the barbecue sandwich at Captain Cook's, but Heather really loved her noodles. And after that, we looked around at the gift shop at Polynesian, and I made a couple of photos with the 35 millimeter F1.8 lens of some figurines there at the Polynesian, and I really like the way they turned out. Gift shops are a fun place to practice photography. I really enjoyed uh, making photographs of these little figurines. I did rearrange them a little bit, and I just love that DX35mm f1.8G lens. It's an F-mount lens, 
but that lens and the FTZ adapter is probably less than half of what you'd pay for the 35 1.8 Z mount lens. So I hope you enjoy these figurine photographs. After that, we made our way back to Bay Lake Tower and got ready to turn in for the night. All right, well, we have made it through this day with no park visits, but we've done all sorts of stuff. We've been to Bay Lake Tower, Contemporary Resort, Riviera Resort, the outside of Hollywood Studios, the outside of Epcot, Beach Club, Yacht Club, right across the lake from Boardwalk, took the monorail to Polynesian. We've been all over the place, made lots of photographs with the Z50, and you've already seen the good ones, so I hope you enjoyed them. Tomorrow is our first park day, and we're going early in the morning, uh, at eight o'clock is what time we have to be there at the Animal Kingdom theme park. So lots and lots of great photography opportunities there. Not taking the 200 to 500 there, but I am taking the 50 to 250. And uh, hopefully some of that stuff will be good. Thanks for watching our October trip to Walt Disney World with the Nikon Z50. And we look forward to seeing you in the next one. You're on the screen in the mirror, Heather, so you can right. wave bye-bye. Bye-bye.